All right, we are joined now by Dr. Jeff Harp from Highland Family Medicine to answer some questions this morning on the high risk categories. Good morning, Dr. Harp. We appreciate you coming on this morning. So let's start with um, who is most at risk? Let's start with a new group here, morbidly obese. What can you tell us about that? Right, so the CDC just uh, cha updated their list of who's at risk uh, for more serious versions of COVID-19 uh, last week, and they added morbid obesity. Um, morbid obesity, it's, it's a moving target because depending on how tall a person is, it's a different weight. But for women, it's usually running between 225 and 250. For men, between 260 and 290 um, pounds. Um, puts him in that category of um, morbid obesity and being at higher risk for complications. So folks watching who are concerned about this, they're morbidly obese or perhaps just obese, what um, can they do? Well, unfortunately, uh, weight loss is something that usually takes time. Um, I think with most of these chronic medical conditions um, that put people at risk, the thing to do now is to realize that um, by having these conditions, we're putting ourselves at more risk for complications and working now to eliminate the risk factors that are eliminatable. So um, working to lose weight, exercise more regularly, stop smoking because chronic lung disease and chronic heart disease are risk factors. Um, control diabetes, diabetes is a risk factor. Um, and um, the other thing that's a risk factor is uh, immune suppression. So one thing that people can do right now is if they're taking prednisone or another steroid on a long-term basis, ask their physician, um, is this something they should be taking or should they be trying to decrease the dose or get off that medicine during the COVID pandemic? You know, you look at those most at, at risk, a high risk for severe illness due to COVID-19, and it's alarming because it seems like it's so many people. Those 65 and older, that's a lot of people. That's right. So just the age group alone, and it's it's unclear whether it, most people who are 65 are starting to develop some chronic illnesses. So it's both the frailty of being that age plus all the conditions that come along with being that age. And the same thing is true. People who live in nursing homes are more likely um, to have serious disease, but that's because, again, they're frail and also exposed uh, because they're living in a community setting. Asthma, that's another one that has a lot of people asking, well, am I most at risk? I have asthma. What kind of asthma? Are we talking severe asthma? Right, so moderate to severe asthma, asthma that people have a couple attacks every year or have had to have been hospitalized for it. Um, and again, um, working to avoid exposures, working to avoid exacerbations of asthma um, is something that people can do to try to help prevent them from being more ill with this disease. Um, that just if you're having an asthma attack, again, that puts you at more risk for getting other infections um, at that point. All right, Dr. Harp, thanks for clearing this up for us this morning. We appreciate it. Well, if you missed any of this conversation, we will have it posted on our website at rochesterfirst.com.